Hello stranger! Today we'll be talking about 3CE's Clear Layer Edition in Cool. Don't worry, I'll also be releasing a separate in-depth review for Warm, but for now, let's see what the Clear Layer Edition in Cool has to offer. At first look, you can definitely see that the Clear Layer Edition revolves around muted pinks, plums, mauves, and lavenders designed to manifest a calm yet dreamy mood. So let's see if we finish this video manifesting just that. Starting off first with the soft mattes, three new shades are introduced in this collection, namely Wayback, Hazy Rose, and Chill Move. This is the first time I'm experiencing the soft mattes and at first I thought the product itself was too little compared to the usual mattes but actually they have the same net weight, just different styles of packaging. You can definitely feel the silicone as you swatch the soft mattes since they glide very smoothly and has a blurring effect on the lips that doesn't crack after a long wear. These soft mattes pack in a strikingly saturated color payoff even with a very light hand which you can layer or build up just like the usual mattes so I'm pretty sure one of these is gonna last you a long time. Trust me. Now here comes the transfer proof proof. They also layer very well over balms if you want to turn mattes to glossy or layer two soft mattes like a gradient lip effect. They retain their true colors on the lips pretty well but I did have a problem with the lip piece breaking off. Noted, I did swatch with a very heavy hand because I wanted a nice solid swatch but I was just surprised because this never happened to my 3CE mattes. I did do a quick fix with some little heat to kind of paste the lip piece back in place. They're not entirely good as new, but this will do. The lip piece felt very fragile and if you're living in a very hot or humid country, you might experience these breakoffs if you don't store them well. Luckily, these lip piece have great pigmentation so even if you swipe with a very, very light hand, you'd still get a good amount of product. Starting off with Wayback, I didn't know what I was in for until I wore them on the lips. They are the perfect nude pink lips for really fair skin tones. It doesn't make me look washed out or sick. This is definitely a nude shade that I don't see often, especially not with the way it looks on me. Definitely, definitely glad I got this. This is also great to use as a liar shade if you're going with a gradient lip. Also, this was the only one that didn't break on me, so so far, this is my fave on the soft matte line. Feel so far, feel so far away. No way. Next is Hazy Rose, described as a vintage rose color. This reminds me a lot of my favorite 3CE matte lipstick, which is Old Dress. The difference is Hazy Rose is a lot brighter while Old Dress is more of a muted mauve. This color really brightens the complexion and lifts up the overall aura of your face. This is great paired with Wayback for a gradient look. Lastly is Chill Move, described as a berry and muted plum color. This is definitely more of a mauve color compared to way back in Hazy Rose. The deepness of the shade makes it perfect for a more intense or dramatic look without going too vampy. Compared to Hazy Rose in way back, I feel like this shade goes on dry on the lips, not as smooth as the first two shades and it also kind of shows the lip lines a lot more. Right on your hand, me so far, feel so far tonight. And that's it for the new soft matte shades included in the Cool Edition. These can be easily cleaned up by micellar water or normal makeup remover. Now to pair that up, Part of this edition is 3CE's multi-eye color palette in Sodef, which takes on somewhat the same color mood that we had going on with the soft mattes. 
The Nandeside describes this as a curation of harmonious lavender shades. Generally, the pigments feel very smooth when swatched and very solid. For the mattes, they have good color payoff and don't apply patchy on the eyes, even the very light colors. The glares are amazing. They stay in place once applied on the eyes, so you don't have to worry too much from getting glares in your eyes. My biggest concern though, which you would also notice once I do my makeup look, is the amount of fall off. Right off the pan, once you dip your brushes, you definitely see the amount of powder coming off, which could be kind of messy once applying your makeup. But after you have your makeup on place, they don't really move around or budge throughout the day, even without primer. The color story here leans more on mauves and warm colors rather than bright cool toned pinks, which at first I thought would be the case because cool edition. But anyways, what better way to introduce a palette but with swatches? Since the site never mentioned if each shade had a name, so I'll be swatching the palette with a reference for you to know which is which. First off, we have this micro glare with gold, silver, and blue shift with a very subtle hint of light pink pigment. Next is a very light whitish beige, great as a base. A blush beige pink, which is not only great on the eyes, but also great as a blush. A muted lilac color, very faint, can also be used as a base color. A warm pink, which looks a little bit more red on camera but actually in person is a lot more pink. This can also be used as a blush. A lavender brown shade with silver red shift micro glares. Creamy textured cool brown shade with a metallic sheen mixed with a lot more red with gold shift micro glares. Another creamy texture, we have this rose gold glare, very luminous and definitely one of my faves. A taupe color which is perfect for contour or adding definition. The makeup look I'm going for today is more vibrant bright makeup look utilizing more of the bright shimmers and the warm pinks and lavenders. So to start, I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm gonna take this light lilac shade and apply it on the lids and my lower lashes. This will serve as kind of like a base for the whole look. Then I'm going to take the warm pink color in the middle and apply that at the inner half of my lid and the outer half of my lid, kind of leaving out the middle portion like when you're creating halo eyes. I'm also going to take that same color and brush that at my lower lashes, keeping close to the outer corners. You can definitely see that there is a lot of fall off, so I'm gonna have to clean that up afterwards. But my suggestion is, it's probably best to put on your eye look first before putting on foundation, just so you wouldn't waste your foundation. Then I'm gonna take the blush pink color and with a blending brush, I'm gonna blend that into my crease and up high a little bit since I have hooded eyes and I want the color to be seen. Now I'm gonna take the shimmer with really light pink pigment and apply that in the middle of my lids where I left out the warm pink color. And that's gonna be like one of the highlights of this look. Then with my favorite rose gold cream shimmer, I'm gonna start applying this on the inner corners of my eyes, then spread it into the inner one-fourth or half of my lids, and that's really gonna make a beautiful iridescent addition to the look. 
And just to make it a little bit bolder, I'm gonna take the same rose gold shimmer and apply that into the corners just below my lower lashes. Just be careful though with putting the shimmers or the glitters because you don't want that in your eyes. Now I'm gonna finish off the eye look by curling my lashes and putting on some mascara. I already did my brows before this so that's all good. Next for the blush, I'm gonna take a small fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the warm pink color and apply that at my upper cheekbone and spread that lower without getting too much into the middle of my cheeks because then I'll be taking the blush pink color and that's where I'm gonna put it just to give out a diffused effect. Then I'm gonna finish off with a gradient lip with hazy rose on the inner area of my lips and way back as a diffused color. And that's it! Like and subscribe if you found this helpful. I guess that's it for now. Until next time, goodbye, you stranger. You don't actually believe a single word I'm saying, do you? Oh, sure, of course I believe you. Great. Just repeat the words I'm about to say, all right? Moon, prism, power, makeup. Right. Moon, prism, power, makeup.